Hi, everyone, it's time for another SpaceX update video. The NASA SpaceX Crew-7 mission was successfully launched earlier this morning. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit more about yesterday's Booster 9 static fire test. Yesterday, we all saw a beautiful static fire test on Booster 9 at Starbase, Texas. According to SpaceX, all 33 Raptors fired up and performed a full-duration 6-second static fire test, except for two engines that shut down prematurely. That is still not a 100% successful static fire test, and I don't know if the FAA team will be happy with the data from the static fire to grant a launch license for the next Starship flight, which is fast approaching. Of course, the Raptors' engine start sequence is very complex, as mentioned by Elon during an interview. So the start sequence for Raptor is insanely complicated uh, compared to the start sequence for Merlin. Elon called this static fire a success. But we must note that the starships we see today are the prototypes, nothing is finalized yet. SpaceX engineers will fix these engine shutdown issues for sure, it's just a matter of time. Maybe Raptor 3s might be the solution to it. The flame deflector water-cooled steel plates once again worked flawlessly. They look to perform even better than last time. The 33 Raptors produced a total of 7.9 million pounds of thrust, which is about 48% of the total thrust capacity at liftoff. But that thrust is more powerful than the Saturn V rocket and SpaceX's own Falcon Heavy rocket. I can't wait to see this thing fly again. After a 24-hour delay, the NASA SpaceX Crew-7 mission was launched successfully from Launch Complex 39A in Florida at 3.27 a.m. Eastern Time. Four, three, two, one, it is full power, and liftoff, go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew-7. Endurance ascends and in This is the first time that SpaceX and NASA have launched four astronauts representing four different space agencies. The Falcon 9 first stage booster B-1081, which was flying on its maiden flight, returned to Earth by landing at Landing Zone 1 here at Cape Canaveral. The Crew Dragon Endurance on this mission is on its third flight to space. The Crew 7 mission is the seventh crew operational commercial crew mission to the International Space Station for NASA and SpaceX's 11th overall human spaceflight mission with a 100% success rate. On behalf of the Falcon team, I'd like to welcome you to orbit, and we hope you enjoyed the ride on Falcon 9. Space travel is difficult, even though you make it look easy, so thank you for trusting us to get you up there. It's not a bad way to spend a day in the office. Stand by for word. The four crew members are now on their way to the International Space Station, wishing them a smooth and a successful ride. That's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.